Hi everyone, I'm Richard from Contours Holidays and I'm here today with Becky and Simona. Here in the UK, the most popular time of year to enjoy an outdoor holiday is during the summer when we can enjoy long warm days, clear skies and bright sunshine. While the sunny weather is normally great for our health and well-being, too much exposure to direct sunlight and hot weather can cause some problems, especially during a long distance walk lasting several days. This short film was made to offer some basic tips to help you stay well when walking during warm weather in the UK. The first thing to think about when you're spending the day outdoors in warm weather is what you should wear. Ideally, your clothing should be light, loose-fitting and pale in colour. Long sleeves and full-length trousers might not be popular choices in hot weather, but they can help protect your skin from sunburn and insect bites. Avoid clothing made from cotton if you can, as this will hold on to moisture and stick to you, making you uncomfortable on your walk. Perhaps the most important accessory you should wear during a summer walk is a hat. Feel free to find a style that works for you. Check that your hat is well fitting and has a brim that protects your face, ears and neck from the sun. A lightweight scarf is also a good option for protecting your neck and can be soaked in water for a quick cooling solution if needed. Finally, you should consider wearing sunglasses with UVA and UVB protection in order to shield your eyes from the sun. Once you've decided what to wear on your walk, the next thing to consider is what to take with you in your pack. Most importantly, you'll need to carry plenty of water with you, either in refillable bottles or a bladder system. You should check your day's route before you set off and identify any places where you could top up your water supplies along the way. You could also carry water purifying tablets or a portable water filter if needed. Filters such as Life Straw or the Soya Mini Filter can be used to collect water from flowing rivers and streams and purify it into drinking water. Some brands of sports drinks can also help to replace the salts you lose from sweating. You should also take plenty of sun cream with you on your walk, ensuring it offers high levels of UVA and UVB protection. When it comes to packing your food, try to choose items that are lightweight, packed with energy and won't go off in the heat or get damaged in your bag. Be sure to pack plenty of snacks including trail mixes, crisps for salt replenishment, dried or fresh fruit, sweets and energy bars. Other items worth considering for your hot summer walk include bite relief cream, insect repellent, rehydration solution and a first aid kit. During a walk in hot weather, it's important to remain aware of the temperature and how long you've been exposed to the sun. Take particular care if the weather is cloudy or windy since you're less likely to feel the effects of the sun's rays. If you can, avoid spending too long in direct sunlight during the hottest part of the day and walk or rest in the shade where possible. Make sure you drink plenty of fluids throughout the day to keep yourself hydrated and don't wait until you're thirsty before you have a drink. If a member of your walking group begins to struggle in the heat, there are a few things you can do to help them feel more comfortable. The most common problem caused by walking in the summer months is dehydration, which usually causes headaches, a dry mouth and tiredness. If you suspect that someone may be dehydrated, take a break and encourage them to drink plenty of water before moving on. Another potential issue to be aware of is heat exhaustion. It can cause dizziness, fatigue, muscle cramps and nausea. So if you notice any of these signs in a group member, move them to the shade and encourage them to lay down with their legs elevated. Don't forget to offer them water to drink and pour water on any exposed skin to help cool them down. If dealt with quickly, a person suffering from dehydration or heat exhaustion should start to recover within an hour. If they continue to feel unwell or begin to show signs of rapid breathing or confusion, this could be a sign of heat stroke and will require medical attention. 
Call for the emergency services while continuing to help cool down the group member. Should you experience any problems during your long distance walking holiday this summer, the team at Contours Holidays are always ready to help.